Hey, welcome back to Blower. Today we're going to take a look at a game called Stowaway 52. It's made by GameRight. So they make pretty good um, family games. Um, so what's up is like a choose your own adventure card game. So it says you've snuck aboard an alien ship that's about to attack Earth. It's up to you to stop it. It says a course for sabotage with a unique card adventure. An interactive story to put you at the controls. Do you reprogram the flight computer, or do you destroy the engine room? Choose wisely. Your fate depends on the path you pick. Whether you play solo or with a friend, the goal is the same. Find a path that uses the entire deck and save the Earth. So, one or two players. Pretty sure it's just a one-player game. Guess you get to debate choices with somebody. So it's in a very nice box. A little sturdy cardboard. Uh, looks like it opens. Slide out, maybe? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, slide out. So, other game right games. Um, Gubs. Uh, Zeus on the loose. Slamwich. They make Sleeping Queens. Um, so this is another pretty good game. Anyway. So I'll get a nice thank you card from them. And then let's take a look at these cards. So they're a nice size. It's nice, I like that. I'm sure it probably had a tab I could just unwrap it, but life was out anyway. Alright, so we have Indians here. Let's try not to spoil anything. Rules. Okay, so it looks like it's four pages of rules. Your prologue, which is going to be your story, I guess, about the ship, your card adventure. Uh, some cards saying you can find items. Uh, if you select the option that leads to your card already in your story pile, your mission has been thwarted and your card adventure ends. Hmm. Add all the points. Okay. So like the setup is. Let's look at the setup. Separate the cards into four face up piles according to the card color. Choose a pile and then pick any card within to start. This card in front of you, start your story pile. All right, so we have got red, purple, and light blue. Uh, shuffle these up. Here's what it said. Let's see. And then you would pick one card. So I like blue, so we'll pick blue. Face up in front of me. Read the card on top of your story pile. There will be two options at the bottom. Select one of the two options and then find the related card in one of the piles as indicated by the icon and number on the right. Put the new card on top of your story pile and read it. Once again, choose an option. Continue playing cards and into your pile. Okay, so you take a look at your card here. You read it. We'll go read us just one card. So I mean, this console appears before you. Looks like it could be a 
thermal controls, looking out the window, you see a group of aliens coming through a door and get a, on board a small alien fighter ships. Uh, turn down the heat, go to the room, the aliens just vacated. All right, so I guess we go six red, it looks like. These are both red. So you look for six red, what it sounds like. You're going to add that on top of your story pile. Of course, you're going to read it. Flashing door next to you. Stop flashing the locks tightly. Aliens are yelling something and heading towards the ladder below you. You see a small door to a storeroom nearby. It looks like you can squeeze under a portion of the wall behind you. And then you're going to choose. You can choose red again. Or you can choose um, purple there. Of course, I'm not going to do it in case you want to play the game. Because I'm sure it only has limited playthroughs before you know, you know exactly what to do. So I always like Choose Your Own Adventure books. I thought this was kind of a cool idea to put it into a, like a card form you can take along with you. And maybe have two players decide you know, where to go. Or even by yourself. It's good to have a one player game on hand. Um, goes into items here. So we're on three here. Okay, rules. And then you look up the endings based on how many points you got. So if you have a duplicate card in your pile, the game ends, you add up all the points, which are on the stars here. The camera's not focusing. both your story and item piles you get items here then look up your ending based on the ending cards so uh, these are ending cards I'm not gonna read those <laughs> warning every ending is bad except for the ending when you get a perfect score of 300 so that probably gives you your, your replay ability if you saw fall short play again try to get a higher score that's cool you put a scoring mechanic in it so it gives you like some goals to you know beat your beat your last score, basically to beat the game. So uh, I, I kind of dig that. I don't play you know, all the way through, but it's choose your adventure. Cool, you have these like different um, decks to go through. Card stock is really good because the game right, they make really good um, quality stuff. So this is Stowaway 52, pretty cool card game. So not really a playthrough, just an unboxing because I think a playthrough would kind of ruin the experience. So thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.